Hey Filmmaker Shung here. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a call-out animation inside of Premiere Pro. So let's start. So the first thing we're going to type in a text here. Zion Smooth 4. And I'm going to place it where we want it to be. So we want it to have like a circle here coming down uh, with a line coming down here under the text here. That should be fine. And now we're going to use this pen tool here. Gonna click this middle here, click here and here. So the line is not straight. Uh, the thing is there is not like that you can hold the shift tool. So the only way to fix it, we're going to zoom in 200%. Gonna look at the line and we're going to hold this point here and just move it up and down until it straightens out. So that's the only way to make this line as straight as possible. And now we're going to add the circle here. So inside of effects, we're going to type here in circle and under generate, we're going to use the effect circle, drag that onto your clip. So we're going to this effects of circle, we're going to blending mode and change this to normal. Now we can change the size of the circle because it's quite big. We're going to change that to 30. And we also see it's slightly not, or the line is not really in the middle of the circle, which is not an issue. So we can either move the circle up or we're going to move the line and text down. Um, just going to do the easiest way, move the text and the line down and more in the middle of the circle. Okay, so now the line is more going into the center and also more aligned nicely. So now we can uh, add some effect. So let's make this fit again. And we're going to use an effect called radio wipe. So under transition here, video effects transition and then you have radio wipe. Gonna drag this onto the clip and go to effects control, go all the way down and under radio wipe. So we're going to move all the way to the front. Now hold down shift arrow to the right three times. So we jump 15 frames. We're going to hit this clock to toggle animation to add a keyframe. Now go to the back and we're going to change this to 100. Now if we play it, we can see that the circle actually rotates and becomes a entire circle and the text actually appears but we're going to also change this I don't want it to be going from this direction I want it to be from the other direction so I want it to be counterclockwise which is nice so one thing to note is uh, inside of your effects control everything gets affected by the effect on the bottom so the radio wipe is now on the bottom and it affects all the things that is above it. So it's kind of like the opposite of your normal timeline. So that is something you need to keep in mind. So basically what we are going to do is um, kind of a step way effect. So basically we want the radio wipe to make the circle to appear and we're going to use another effect to make this shape uh, and the text be not showing uh, until the circle is fully finished. So because we're going to do an effect that's uh, above the circle, it's not going to uh, affect the circle. So we're going to use, either we can use radio wipe again, or we can use another effect. Um, let's use linear wipe. So linear wipe, so also under transition, we have linear wipe. Drag this onto your timeline and here under FX control, make sure to move the linear wipe above the circle. So now that we added the linear wipe, we can see how it animates by dragging this. And we can see it's actually not the direction that we want it to be, It we want it to uh, cut away the opposite side. So we can do quickly here minus 90. 
and we can toggle through here. So we want the effect to be like this. However, we don't want it to be a straight line when we're at this section because it's kind of odd to be a straight line. So we can change the angle here a bit until we get like a nice angle here. So minus 45 should be fine. Now when we play it or we move it, we get a animation like this. We can either change it so that it becomes straight from this point. However, I don't really mind it. So because that's not a big issue, uh, go to the keyframe here. So from the circle being full, we then have the line starting. So let's go to 50% here because the linear wipe will do like 50. So it's because the circle is in the middle anyway, so it's not going to make much issue. So 50 and then we add it at a keyframe here and then also shift arrow to the right three times. So we jump 15 frames and now we go to zero. And now when we play this, we can see the circle appearing and then the text. So now we want to animate the text that to actually uh, be shown after the line is being shown. So we can either do also a linear wipe or we can use a crop. Um, because we already have a linear wipe here, we can do with a linear wipe. So we just copy it, like use control C or command C and command V. So we have like a copy of it. Make sure it's above the shape. Now we're going to move the keyframe over. So we might want it to be faster or earlier. So that already looks nice. We could also change it to be coming from below, but actually it looks pretty nice how it now is. We can also add some extra animations, maybe like a extra circle here that pops out to give it a little bit more extra detail or an add added effect. So we're going to command C, command V the circle. So we have another circle here and let's see the parameters. So maybe make it a circle that is a little bit transparent, like 30%. And that it actually pops out when the circle is full. So we go to 15 frames. And then we're going to change the radius here. Add a keyframe here. And then make 10 frames, I think, an animation. So hold down shift and then arrow to the right two times. And then this to be. 50. So we have like a big circle coming up. Uh, yeah, 50. And then we make this opacity we can change or we can actually, um, yeah, animate the end opacity. So we can hold down or, okay. So now we don't want it to be of course to be like that that be a little bit boring so we want it to be like it to come out and then fade away so we go to the last frame here we change the opacity to zero add a keyframe here and then go to the other keyframe make this 30 and one frame before that, you want it to be zero. 
and now when we play this you see a little bit uh, 30 might be a little bit too uh, transparent so maybe change that to 60 so we get like a small pulse going on we can now move this as an entirety using motion here so we can move this to follow and track something uh, frame by frame adding a keyframe and yeah that makes it quite easy and everything being into one um, clip instead of several layers so that was mainly it how to make a call out animation inside of premiere pro hope you guys found this a quite useful video if you're new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye